for a Monday morning to hear something like that. Uh, okay, so we need to know, uh, eliminated from The Voice, how does that feel? Um, the, the point of it, you know, um, for me, it was never a point to win the show. It was definitely just to come out there and really um, just show people that you can come onto a show like that and you can rock, dance, and sing and really... Um, Change, change the show. And because, that's you know, all, uh, I'm really feeling the song, though. You think you're like, I'm really liking I'm, that. <laughs> that's awesome, man. That's the first <laughs> single. And, um, you know, that's, that's the next move right now. Now, you, you're you from Washington, D.C., right? Yeah. And you've been performing since you were six years old? Yes, yes. I've been performing since I was six years old. Um, I've been on other TV shows like BT 106 and Park. Right. Um, I've been on MTV. I've done Showtime at the Apollo. So um, I'm 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 not new to the to the um, you know TV experience. What was it like working with uh, Christina Aguilera? Um, it was an amazing experience. She's um, definitely pushed me out of my comfort zone and really grew me as a, a singer. And um, you know that was the best thing for me. Um, the whole experience of that show was awesome. Now she wasn't. She wasn't the only judge that turned around for you, right? Uh, no, actually, she was the she was the only one that turned around for me. Oh, so, well, were you excited to be on her team? Did you have a was she your first pick? I mean, um, yes, she she was she, she would have been my first pick because I felt like with her, I knew um, for me it was something different and with somebody that I can be with, and I knew I can grow and I can learn a lot from. And um, you know, she was the best choice. Rowan Moses Stone from The Voice. Uh, here's his song right here. It's called My Moment. This is my moment. My moment. Oh. We need to talk to our program director and get that on the station. Please do, man. I'm really Please. feeling that song. Uh, do you feel like, though, I know Lindsay just asked you the question about, you know, a Christine Aguilera and, you know, if you would have chose anybody else. Uh, just between us, uh, do you think that a, a better fit would have been someone like Adam Levine or CeeLo? Because I just feel like Christine Aguilera, personally, has fallen off the past couple of years. Um, no, no, I feel like she was the best choice for me because um, for me, um, her career, with her career, she's always stayed current and relevant in the music industry. She's always reinvented herself. And I feel like, you know, that's something that I look to do in my career and, and have a longevity career. And that's something that I've seen her do throughout her career. She has her ups and downs and she's had her moments, you know, but she's always um, coming back and fighting for it. So um, that's something I look to do with my career. Have you uh, got to hang out with any of the other judges, though, on the show? Uh, no, no, but you definitely get to um, kind of tell from uh, their personalities when you're up performing live and you, um, you know, you actually get to talk to them on a one-on-one uh, -on -one basis. But, um, I mean, Christina was the person for me. She she understands me. She lets me be a true artist. She lets me express myself. And uh, she let me show show the world who I am. Now, when you're practicing singing and, you're, you know, you're, you're teamed up with Christina Aguilera, is there anything weird or anything strange or, or uh, that we wouldn't know about Christina Aguilera? Like, working with her, like, on a daily basis, I mean, Lindsay, I mean, the stuff that we know about each other, I mean, you could write a book. <laughs> Um, I mean, well, for me, she was just a down-to-earth person. I mean, um, whenever I would ask her something, whenever I would talk to her about anything, she always gave, she always gave me advice, and she always um, just helped me out with different things, especially coming on to the show and being the first to see and um, rapping and singing and doing what I was doing. She let me just be me, and um, I couldn't ask for a better coach. You are extremely entertaining, and yep. one thing I really like about you is that you like to give back. Can you tell us a little bit about Kicks for Kids and what that does? Oh, yeah. It was an event that I did um, with a friend of mine. We, we basically um, gathered everyone to, to donate some shoes. And um, I basically just performed. And um, at the end of the show, we gave out shoes to everyone, all the kids in the um, area that, that, that were less fortunate. And um, I'm always looking to give back to kids. I actually just did a, another event um, called Music Day and basically just taught kids about you know, rapping and singing and um, playing instruments like guitar and piano. So I'm, anytime I can give back, I'm always looking to give back. And then we, we even gave back on the on the show, which is the boys, um, at a Starbucks event, just um, helping out with the L.A. Food Bank. So um, I'm always looking to do stuff like that. I love it. That's awesome. And, uh, you know, uh, we're on with Moses Stone here on the, the Voice. Great show. I'm glad that you got a chance to, to get out there and show everybody your talents and what you got. Uh, but uh, did you see this story about Adam Levine? How he hurt Jennifer Love Hewitt's feelings? 
No. Oh, no, no, I didn't hear that. Okay, let me tell you this since I got you on the phone, man. Uh, Jennifer Love Hewitt regrets publicly announcing her crush on Adam Levine. Uh, the actress revealed she was attracted to him on an episode of the Ellen DeGeneres show and later repeated herself on E, adding that she hoped he would hear it and come knocking on her door. But now, I guess, uh, she's embarrassed after her, her remarks were met by silence from Adam Levine. He just Aww. gave her the cold shoulder altogether. Oh, man, it sucks. <laughs> Isn't that horrible? Poor Jennifer Love Hewitt, you know, uh, and Adam Levine. He seems like a heartbreaker, doesn't he? <laughs> Did he ever bring his Victoria's Secret model ex-girlfriend around the set? No, but I actually wish he would. Performance <laughs> Can we just start the rumor now that you're dating her? Yes, let's do that. <laughs> Okay, you heard it here exclusively on uh, K-Hits that Moses Stone dating Adam Levine's ex-girlfriend. Yeah, it's my moment, so I'm going to bring her with me and we're going to have our moment. That's awesome. Well, the show, The Voice is on tonight. Do you have do you have any inside information that you can give us or maybe your thoughts on who might end up winning the entire show? Oh, wow. Um, I definitely think tonight is going to be an awesome show. You got CeeLo's team and you got Adam's team going up, so it's going to be really cool. I got friends on both both um, teams. Um, I mean, this season is going to win it. I don't know who on my team, but someone on my team is definitely winning. We're, team x is definitely winning this year. I okay. know that for sure. All right, here's a little bit of his song, My Moment. Take it my Moment, take check it out, you guys. I'm loving this song, man. Doesn't it sound so good? Yeah. Uh, you really got it, man. I, I tell you that much. I, I'm sorry you didn't win it. I appreciate it, man. That, that was a whole experience, man. I, I, I looked to come on to the show, and I definitely, um, you know, accomplished my goal, which was to change the format of the show and, and to really just show people that you can do those type of things on there. So the goal was met, you know? Right on, Moses. Thank you so much for the call this morning. We do appreciate it, okay? No worries, man. I appreciate you guys for having me on. All right. Have a good one, okay? I bet you too. All right, uh, Moses Stone there from NBC's The Voice. He better remember us little people when he makes oh, huge. He will. He will. <laughs> I can't believe that, though. Adam Levine totally dissing on Jennifer Love Hewitt. Would she you? Was, oh, she was hot back in the day. I wouldn't pass. We got to talk about Amanda Bynes next, though, and what happened with her this past weekend. It's K-Hits.